it's a hot topic. You know, the senior enlisted marketplace is definitely a hot, hot topic. One of the things that I know now that I kind of always thought was it was experimental, you know, with the Master Chiefs, you know, um, and, you know, that ain't, you know, no diss or nothing, no shade, but it was experimental. experimental. They yeah. didn't know they the Master Chiefs was a smaller uh, study size group or whatever. Um, and we kind of wanted to see how this was going to play out, right? Um, so we're going to get into uh, SEM a year later, right? Because we, uh, we either had a year later, if we're not at a year later, if it's longer than a year later, then I feel like SEM a year later is a good title. So this is what y'all mm-hmm. going to have to accept, right? <laughs> <laughs> so at a year later, when we were sitting in our class, we were at like only 90 billets left to be filled, right? Mm-hmm. Out of like, I believe like 500 and something, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, I could have the numbers off. What like, I think 60 or 30 of those billets, I, got, I, I had it all written down. But again, this ain't the episode where we gonna get too deep in what we have written down. But what, what, a, what a major number of those billets, like people are already saying that they not, um, staying in, right? So it was already people giving up they, uh, their billet. So it was only about like 30 or 15, somewhere between like 15 and 30 people left, mm-hmm. to, you know, to, to fill the billets. And by what, June, it looked like it, that was going to happen. Like it don't seem like by like April, whatever, by whatever date is the last, it looked like they was going to have, by that deadline date, it looked like everybody was going to have had filled their seats, mm-hmm. which would make uh, the senior listed marketplace, or if you see SEM, that's how they abbreviate, which would make it a success. Mm-hmm. You know, so it would be a success, Tish. So, if the senior listed marketplace is a success, then that's only encouragement to keep it going, right? You know what I mean. So, I don't know what the other factors are, like the deck plate level um, quantification factors on, like this is how this person felt about it, this is how this person, but what. The Navy is seeing, and I like to say big Navy, even though, you know, I am starting to put some names to some faces. But what the Navy is seeing is we are filling the billets that need to be filled. Mm -hmm. You know, we getting Master Chiefs on critical C billets. um, And I don't mean critical by any C driven critical, but just out on C billets where they supposed to be. And we getting them filled. So let's now do the same thing with senior chiefs. So in the eyes Mm -hmm. of the Navy, it's a success. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And this we put, is but we putting butts in seats. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the name of the know. game. And they had a time frame and it sounds like they're gonna meet the time frame. So but I'm sure the neck when they do it with a senior chief, like they have those lessons learned and they're just going it'll probably be a smoother process. And everybody has kind of learned, hopefully, you know, they paid attention to what was going on with the master chiefs to kind of understand the process a little bit more. Um, and it's gonna require some patience. Above yeah, they all. did. Yeah, they did. And it was a so when I say experimental, yeah, that's what I mean. It was a collection of data. Mm-hmm. Like they got data points. They got the data. Uh and they know that the senior uh the senior chief group is bigger, mm-hmm. right? They already know that. It's a yeah. bigger size group. Um, and they know they're gonna get more data from that. You mm-hmm. know, so just sitting everywhere. I was happy to hear that, you know, even the people that was a part of building this process, like say, like, hey we were collecting data, <laughs> you know, like nobody was like, yo, we had this all figured out. Right. Uh, and, you know, y'all just had to, you know, even with like this, the scoring criteria still, mm-hmm. you know, like some of the sea duty stuff, it's like, um, what if somebody just got off sea uh, duty and now they're on shore duty compared to somebody who just got off shore duty and, and now they're on sea duty, yeah. you know, would that person with the sea duty stuff take precedent over that person? So that stuff is even some rates that's, uh, you know, not uh, a part of SEM, you know, like some of those smaller rates, mm-hmm. a, like, so, uh, well, AW is, but some of those other rates uh, are, are not a part. So it's like a lot of lessons learned and a lot of things that people uh, took from the E9 uh, thing. And then we're going to roll in to the Chiefs. You know, we're going to roll into the Chiefs. So, yeah. you know what I mean? And one of the big questions that come out of the Chief thing is um, how the season going to go, mm-hmm. right? So when we had Bill on here, we asked him about that. Uh, to my knowledge, coming from school, um, I think uh, 
he is a part of the team that's developing the answer to that question, like as we speak, right? Um, I could be wrong about that, but I, I mean, he almost has to be, right? Mm-hmm. Like that's like that's mm-hmm. his yeah. job, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so he, I think he a part of the team that's uh, building the answer to that. I think one of the so a couple of colors. Let's talk about a couple of colors, mm-hmm. Tish, and, and, and which one could be the best? Because we were debating this at a lunch table at. Uh, when, when when I was in CMC Cobb. Hey, to the junior sellers, I'm sorry, we got to get all this stuff out the way because some of these topics are hot topics. Um, and we got chiefs that listen to y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we got to get some of these hot topics out the way. And this stuff is going to affect y'all too mm-hmm. in the future, more sooner than you think. You right. know, if you're a second class, you got to start looking at some of this stuff. Mm-hmm. And for the first classes, this, this y'all. This is, yeah. Like real soon, right? Um, so one of the co's was... Um, during the season, like, and these just uh, ideas we were shooting around. So one of the codes was like doing a season more than once, right? Mm. In a year, we all like, we were shooting that as like a really bad idea. <laughs> like, 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 why would you do the season more than once? Right. Somebody even had as many as five times a year. Oh you know my what I'm gosh. Saying? Th- you know, because you know the way to, what'd you say? The bandwidth that that would take. Right. Yeah. Like five mini seasons. Right. Like, you might as well get rid of the season. Exactly. If you want to do that. Yeah. You know, because you know the way it works is like you, 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 you screen, so you find out you make it, mm-hmm. and then until you know you it's can. time for you to like rotate or you get your orders, you don't put that rank on, right? Mm-hmm. That's the way it works right now. Um, but it most likely it would have to work different for, for the, Chiefs. the Chiefs in that regard, yeah. right? So one of the other coas, which I think makes the most sense out of the coas is to keep the chief season exactly as it is, mm-hmm. right? So the results come out, everybody... Now, this like we could kind of talk about this, teacher. I want you to. And I think I think you could still be close to this information as far as um, having an opinion. So everybody makes... Everybody screen for chief, right? Mm-hmm. So they go through the season, right? Uh, when they finish the season, they all do a pennant ceremony, Right. In and they all get pinned. Yeah, they all get pinned uh-huh. and they all wear their anchors. Uh-huh. Right. But the process is still the process. So they would still be waiting for the orders or whatever like that. And we all know what it could take up to like two years. Mm-hmm. Right? It could take up to two years. Um, I might have should have said senior listed marketplace two years later. Um, <laughs> but it, it, so it, it could take up to two years. Right. So um, now, like, do they give the, like, do they get the anchors back? Like, 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 you know, that's the only thing. Cause it's like, what if you don't, but so far yeah. from the sample size we got, everybody got the billet. Mm-hmm. But cause essentially now when you make chief, you, you're not yet getting paid for it. Right. Right. You, you, you still E6 for like, I still was, I still was getting paid uh, as a first class for damn near till the next season, till the next mm. group of chief selects, like a week or two before the next group of chief selects uh, went through. Uh, Cause I like that, like full damn near that four year. So it's kind of like that same process, right? right. My own, my only thought process, you know, what it was the significance of like hearing um, the chief's creed, um, and, you know, at the ceremony, mm-hmm. Um, that, you know, hearing all of that stuff, the significance of hearing that stuff, putting it on and feeling like tomorrow I'm chief, right. you know, or whatever, however that goes. Um, and I thought that it would take some of the wind out of those cells when it came to that process. Uh, but what's your thoughts on any of these calls? Why do you think that that would, because that kind of happens now where you... I don't think that no more, Tish. Oh, I, I thought that. you thought, I thought that. I, I, I thought it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I changed my mind. <laughs> like when somebody, when somebody broke it down to me a little bit better, um, I changed my mind about mm-hmm. that thought. Like that's probably the best way to do it. Mm-hmm. That's what I think too. Um, as you were talking about before, you got into when you say we were going to talk about the coas. That's where my mind immediately went. Is you do one chief season. You have the pinning ceremony. You wear khakis after that, up on, and you are not paid until you. You're essentially in a frock state until you um, execute your orders. 
for and that's however long it takes. But the only issue, like you said, is what happens if you don't. Like, do you go back yeah. to putting on the first class uniform? Um, I've seen the only situation I've seen where somebody go in from a chief uniform back to a first class uniform is disciplinary. So it just don't look good. It don't feel good. Um, but yeah, that's that's something. Maybe they have to, um, you know, commit to it. Like, all right, yeah. if you go, if you're gonna go through the process and you're gonna get frocked, or you're gonna put on the chief uniform, you have to take orders or get uh-huh. out. <laughs> like, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to yeah. take orders and get out. Like, I mean, otherwise, like, you going back to being a first class. So, yeah, because um, that's kind of it's it's kind of like how we do with the officer. You the officer for these orders. Or you go home. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know, maybe maybe that's the way. But I do like the idea of having one season um, that you go through. One, because of the bandwidth and the manpower that it takes uh, on the mm-hmm. mess to be able to do that and to do it multiple times a year. Like, geez, that's crazy. Um, yeah. But also the camaraderie, like if you're going through the season, the camaraderie that you get by going through it. Um, and doing it together, I think that would be dope instead of having like so many, like everybody in the Navy who made chief during that cycle have like, they all have that camaraderie built, you know? So it's like, that's why I think it was just keep it the way, keep it the kind of yeah. mirror what we're, what we're doing now. There's no sense in having five like what you gonna have a team team one <laughs> team two Crazy. team yeah, three because i'm not doing five seasons it's hard enough doing one y'all right? you know it's hard <laughs> enough you know the sellers junior sellers be like shocked when they hear that like oh for real it's hard it's, it's hard, hard enough. like it, it ain't it's it ain't easy work. getting one no. yeah you know what it's I mean? a lot like, of work and so a lot of planning trying. too it's a lot of planning that goes into that a lot of time yeah. away like they think, oh yeah, they all just ain't at work. No, nah, we ain't at home either. <laughs> yeah, we ain't at home either. Like we just not present at all. So to go through that five times, like you would have to break that up. But then you kind of lose you lose it loses its significance. I feel like when you do it so many times a year. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Did you did you know that? Oh, and oh, the, uh, before I get off that, like the only other thing that I always question that I think a lot of people don't like is the eval process throughout all of this. Mm-hmm. You know, because you stay in the pool of the rank that you know you getting paid for and all that. Yeah, like you stay in that pool. So now, like hard and soft breakouts matter more than ever before. I mean, you unless know, you do like stuff. a special eval or not special, but you're in like that frock category. No, nah, you stay in your pool. And but, according, but like the that's way what maybe they should have, like a frock, keep you in that frock category or something. I don't know. A different pool? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you know, the chief eval is about to change anyway. Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. Them drinks about to change, like... like I know they're changing. Uh, I, I don't know how they're changing because I didn't look that far into it, but I just heard yeah. that it's changing. 